Hey everybody, this is not a spring chicken. As Sundance starts in Park City and people are getting ready over there, put your running shoes on because it's not just the Republicans that are bolting from the president, it's also the Democrats who don't want to be seen with him. Hmm. Well, for now, we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, actually, this morning, they, uh, they, they headlined an article saying that if the Republicans take control of the Senate and the House, it will be one party rule and bad for this country. What the problem was is not what you think they're saying. What they're saying is that if the Republicans take control of the Senate along with the House, the whole country is going to be turned over to Barack Obama and the President is going to be ran from the executive office with no, um, since the Democrats have already fixed it, so you can't do anything with the changing of the rules. It, it's just, you know, the president's going to ex exercise his nuclear option, which is basically to not even come to Congress with anything. Mm -hmm. And Democrats, you know, people are simply too stupid to understand all they are getting with Obamacare. That's what they said last night. They said that too to stupid. Hollywood. Okay. The four leading senators that pushed Obamacare down people's throats were pissed off at Leonardo DiCaprio and, Why? and uh, was it um, Dre Dreyfus and a, few, and a bunch of others. They were smoking e-cigarettes last night and setting a bad example for Americans. And that's when they said, you know, dumb, dumb young, you know, kids. They they're too stupid to understand that that uh, this is all being done for their benefit and they're setting bad examples, which basically pissed off all of those people that were that they condemned last night and they said they're having, young Hollywood is avoiding Obamacare with like it's a plague. Ooh. And NSA can turn on your iPhone's camera mic without you knowing. Isn't that neat? I mean, that, that every time that the, you got these people that just love the NSA come out, well, they're not going to. Uh, they're not going to use it. I mean, like I heard, like Larry Gatton last night, who was on. He said, uh, he, he said, if you if you give a corrupt person something corrupt to use, you think that that corrupt person isn't going to use it. He said that. Uh, he said, uh, he said, the only thing I'm really concerned about is I'd like to know what my teenage daughter is doing. Now, if they could send me that information, I'd be happy. And then U.S. lawmakers have all sanctions on Ukraine. Yep, because uh, they're switched, they're jumping. The, they're, the, um, what happened was they had a corrupt Soviet election electing a Soviet uh, minister as the head of the country. And, her, uh, re, and, and even though the people don't want to rejoin the Soviet Union, they're rejoining the Soviet Union. So what's going to happen is they're just going to put sanctions on them and, and basically fix it so they can't send anything out of the country except to the Soviet Union, which means they don't have anything again. They were very happy having money to spend, houses, cars and stuff. That all ends when they go backwards. And House Republicans vote support for $1.1 trillion spending bill. Yeah, they basically said F you to all the military personnel that they said, well, we're going to fix it. You're going to get the, you know, you're going to get your pensions back. And, and then the one guy said, well, it's not like this is anything major. Other people in this country are having their pensions cut. Well, let's see, when you've had a leg blown off, are you, are you, are you permanently paralyzed? Are you had, you know, uh, been burnt over 90% of your body? Getting your pension cut back is a big deal. If you cut back the pension on on some 50-year-old in a private in a private sector who's making $200,000 a year and working on another job already building another pension, that's not the same as a military retiree that's living on disability pension. And affordable housing for gay seniors opens in Pennsylvania. Yeah, I, I know. It, 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 it's basically. Um, Pennsylvania used to be a red state, now it is so blue it's unbelievable. And gay marriage rulings in Oklahoma, Utah build momentum. All it's doing is just pissing off the people in these states, the courts coming in and telling the people, well, you can't do it, you can't write your constitution mm -hmm. because we basically in the court system will decide what you can and cannot have in your constitution. And gay rights, uh, violation of gay rights is a violation of the constitution. 
No, it's not. It's not. There's nothing in the Constitution that says anything about marriage, so therefore it can't be a violation of the Constitution. But there is, it's, there is a thing in the Constitution that specifically says guaranteed rights of religious freedom. When you tell people that don't believe in something that they now have to uh, give up their beliefs, you violated the constitutional rights of all those individuals, and they're in the majority in this country. Like they said, 39 out of 50 states have passed constitutional amendments banning gay marriage in their state, and one by one, Obama's court system is throwing out the constitutions of these states. And Congress is letting 55 tax breaks expire at the year end. Oh yeah, the the wind power tax, solar tax are gone. All of the you know the green taxes for your automobile, the thing. All of these subsidies are now gone, so hey folks, all those green vehicles, all that green technology you're purchasing now, you're not getting any tax breaks on it. If you pay, you know, $32,000 for your solar system and you expect to get $32,000 back, it ain't going to happen. And they're not going to renew them either because um, the Democrats can't justify refunding these things that they know are nothing but, um, you know, kickbacks to industry people. And South Carolina lawmakers take aim at the health care. Yeah, and, and Obama was there yesterday explaining how the health care law is helping so many people in the state. It's a, their system is a total failure. He said, well, the Republican exchange, well, unfortunately, South Carolina is not ran by Republicans. It's ran by guess who? And, it's, and they, they failed another $125 million boondoggle. And Republicans say, F you, retired and injured military personnel. That's right. I mean, I, um, I heard like last night on one of the shows, one of the country people, he said, my daddy served in World War II. My daddy lost an arm and, and suffered severe injuries in the Battle of the Bulge. And uh, he's, he's 88 years old. You know, uh, you know, he's very independent and won't let me contribute a thing to him because he's, he said he earned his military pension and they said, F you. The Republicans said it. They said, well, we're going to work to fix this thing. Well, they had, they promised in December they were going to work to fix it. And then this week they passed a thing uh, basically destroying all of these benefits entirely. And Colorado pot buyers in high spirits lining up for legalized sales. Oh, yeah. Uh, basically, uh, it's not as legal. Okay, they're running into problems every direction you can think of. First of all, if they get caught with marijuana on a, on a federal highway, they can be jailed. If they get caught at, a, at, a, at, a, at an airport that receives federal money, you can be jailed. If you're in a building that receives federal money, you can be jailed. If they're in anything that gets federal anything, you can be jailed. So therefore, they so said the only place you're safe is in your home, except for one minor little detail. Mm -hmm. If it was financed by the federal government, if they covered your, you know, if they if they if they did the mortgage for you, you're screwed if you're caught with marijuana in your place. So there's no place that you can use that stuff in Colorado legally. Mm -hmm. And the people that passed the thing, and then, well, here's the good deal: who do you think are the biggest sellers of marijuana in the state of Colorado? Mm -hmm. The people that aren't collecting taxes to sell it. The same people that were selling it before, because now their marijuana which used to be high, is now cheaper than the state-sponsored marijuana. And Google Glass's number one fan already thinks product is doomed this year. Yeah, uh, what happened, we saw, I saw a guy over at CES with those glasses on. He literally fell, oh, he, this, you're walking like this, trying to see down the one side, and uh, he literally fell over a, a, a couch with a guy with a computer's hand and knocked the computer out of the guy's hand onto the ground and uh, basically, the the little guy wanted to mop up the ground with the guy with the Google glasses on because he what he did do was he took the Google glasses off and smashed them with his foot, and told him to give this back to the people. So what? that was a very expensive. Well, because yeah. it, was, it probably broke his computer. And the voice Rose Parade float totally safe. <laughs>